What's going on, America Americans? I know it's been a while. I am so sorry. I know you guys are like, where have he been? I have been very busy, guys. I have a new job. Um, I think I mentioned that in the last video about four or five months ago. I can't remember the last video I posted. I am so sorry, guys. I missed you guys so very, very much. I been wanting to make a video. I just have been very busy, very tired, just make, trying to make a living, guys. <laughs> I've been wanting to make a video for you guys a while back. I've just been very busy. Um, but enough about that. I just still in mourning. Uh, it's been almost 10 months since mom's passing. Can't believe it's been that long. I've been trying to enjoy myself. I've been trying to get myself back on the right foot, so to speak. And I've had a lot of drama uh, come my way these last couple of days. So yeah <laughs> um earlier today i went to the movies uh, i've been trying to do that uh make that uh ritual uh to see a uh, movie a week you know just try to get out of the house that sort of speak um want to go see suicide squad i'm thinking about doing a review for the movie if you guys are interested in me doing that uh please uh comment in the comment section down below to let me know how you really feel sorry i'm looking down i'm just i'm trying to trying to take the Obama approach, kind of trying to pace my words and not say something that's going to be harmful. But honestly, I really feel like this is going to be an episode where I'm just going to just tell you exactly how I really feel. Mainly because I have been, I don't know if anybody noticed this or have known this, maybe my family knows this, but not any, well, who am I kidding? Nobody really knows. Um, you guys don't know this, uh, my family does and friends do, but I've been bullied a lot uh, growing up, mainly because people felt that I was soft and that they can just say what they want to say. And I've gotten to a point where I have gotten really frustrated with that. I, um, for lack of better words, excuse me for saying this, this is going to be probably an episode where you're going to be hearing a lot of language that you, I mean, many people are... Uh, never heard me say, uh, saying when I say many people, family members, some friends, but I'm at a point where I really don't give a damn. Uh, um, I'm, I don't know really how to say this, but I'll just go ahead and say it. I uh, went to the movies today, went to uh, go see Suicide Squad. Very uh, relaxed day. Um, anticipation for this movie uh very excited to see this movie it's been a whole year of me waiting to go see this film uh purchased my ticket um grabbed some uh condiments uh with a drink and everything like that and uh, as i was going into the movie theater i actually stopped uh and i was uh, noticing this wonderful couple seemed like a wonderful happy a uh, couple, they were pretty young. Uh, I was admiring the love and affection that they had for each other. So as I was walking to the uh, theater well, for where Suicide Squad was showing, this gentleman, um, not gonna say he was elderly, but he had to be at least between the age of 50, 55 years of age, black gentleman, uh, stopped and said, hey, young blood, hey, young blood, you know, you don't need to start looking at men's. You don't need to start looking at men's. I'm like, was he talking to me? He's like, you need to start looking at men's. You need to start looking at women's. And I was like, I know this guy is not talking to me. Which basically made the simulation that I was gay staring at a guy. Now, I want you to understand this. Uh, for the gentleman who said that, uh, first off, it's 2016, man. Get with the program. If I was looking at that man... That's my bit. That's my honestly. That's my business. It's, if it was harming you in any way, you know, let me know if that was harming you. But if I chose to look at that man, that's my damn business, dude. If my preference is men, that's my damn business. You don't get to choose who the hell I get to look at. You get to look at all these women catcalling them and all sorts of type shit. You, I'm pretty sure you're one of those cats that used to do that back in the day. But you saw another man admiring, not a man, another man. I was admiring a couple and the love and affection that they have for each other. And you thought it was God's, you thought it was your God's given right to 
come up to somebody else and tell them who the hell they can and cannot look at. Was that your son? Was that your daughter? I didn't say a damn thing to them. I just admired the way that they had the love and affection for themselves. But you thought it was a civic duty to come up or say something like that in a public area. It's 2016, man. I mean, I'm not... I'm not gonna call you sir because you don't even do, you don't even honestly deserve the right to be called a sir. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna tell you how, to, how I really feel. That's fucked up. That's really fucked up to say that to somebody. You don't know me. I don't know you. If I chose to look at that man, that's my business. If I'm gay, I'm gay. But I'm not. I'm a straight man. Can I, you know? And the funny thing about it is we we uh, put. Uh, labels on sexuality if i'm bi i'm bi if i'm gay i'm gay if i'm straight i'm straight but i'm straight i like women i always have and i always will doesn't matter a preference black white asian uh hispanic uh filipino it doesn't matter to me i love who i love that's my god-given right that's my freedom as an american to love who the hell i want to love and the simple fact that you open up your mouth and say some stupid shit like that in a public place for no matter is absolutely horrendous. You should be ashamed of yourself. The only reason why I didn't say anything, the only reason why I didn't say anything out loud is because one, I tried to be respectful in somebody else's place. Because one, I want to enjoy this movie and I'm not trying to make a big spectacle of it. Then the simple fact of the matter is you're wearing a Superman shirt. Take that damn shirt off, man. You are no damn Superman. The simple fact that you wear a Superman shirt, I guess you felt that you were Superman, that you were trying to protect uh, uh, the right of men and women being together as one, not no men and men or women or women or whatever other crap that you want to shove down our throats. Here's the fact of the matter. I'm a straight man. I'm all for gay and lesbian rights. I have been for a very long time. I have family members that don't feel the same way I feel. That's that's fine. That's tough. I, I, however they feel, that's however they feel. I love men. I love women. I love children. I love everybody that was put on God's green earth. I love whoever I want to love. I choose to love whoever I choose to want to love. I am an actor. I am a singer. I'm a songwriter. I have many friends that are gay, lesbian, transgender, uh, gender fluid, whatever name you want to call it. I have many friends who are that, and I love them nonetheless. And it's sad that in 2016, that's all you can think about is, well, you need to look at women and you need to look at men. That, that to me, it's, it's mind boggling. It's mind-boggling how stupid we can be. And that's not the first time this has happened. Uh, two weeks ago, I was driving down the street, um, and I was listening to Boys and Men and Neo, and there was some kid that was saying something. His window was uh, rolled down, so I rolled mine down just a little bit. And I was like, uh, what were you saying? And he just literally just called me a faggot. It's like, man, you, you look ugly. You... I mean, some ragged looking ass kid just says you are ugly and just calling you a faggot and stuff like that. What what's happened to our children? And the sad part about it is he wasn't driving. He was a passenger. There was a grown man that was literally laughing right on the side of him. Now to that grown man, I say a shame. You should be ashamed. You should literally be ashamed. I don't know what it is about people in general these days that say what they think they can say and think that that's totally fine your opinions don't always matter and the simple fact that you as a little 15 year old boy say that to a grown man you should be ashamed ladies and gentlemen it is 2016 i know that we have a lot of things on our minds i know we have a lot of opinions but what hate doesn't help anything. I mean, right now 
we're at a situation where we got the Black Lives Matter, All Lives Matter movement going on. We have the uh, presidential elections that are going on right now. We have candidates uh, that honestly uh, people of America don't like. Uh, there, there's there's so many things. We, we as human beings need to realize that every opinion that you have is not always going to be the right one. We as human beings have to realize that we have to come together as one. But you see, whenever you mention that you have to come together as one, people call that corny. People call that stupid. People call that that, that will never happen. It will never happen unless we try. And the problem is that we don't give a damn about each other anymore. We become a nation that has been so damn divided and has been divided since the beginning of our creation of this country that we just don't care anymore. We kill ourselves, we go and do all sorts of crazy stuff, shooting, killing, raping, murdering, all sorts of things. We forgot how to love. We forgot how to come together as one. Many people hate one another because of their sexuality. Many people hate one another because of their uh, sexual preference or, or who they want to be with or if they want to be married or if they want to have kids before marriage or just sort all sorts of crazy stuff. You know, it, it's, it's become a point in our society where it's, it's really shameful. A lot I'm hearing from a lot of people comments that, uh, from news articles that I read about you know murders that they're ashamed to be from this country. I'm not ashamed of who I am. I'm not ashamed of where I come from. I'm a straight black man who's single and working his ass off to make a living. I'm not I'm not the only one, but I'm pretty sure there are single gay black males out there that have to go through that same treatment as I and it makes no sense who they choose to love who I choose to love is our own business whether you want to believe in it or not that's on you we were created equal you may not like uh, a person's choice but that's their choice and unfortunately you have no say in that so, sir, you have no say in who I get to love. Ever. So, yeah. <laughs> um, sorry for that rant. Um, I hope some of you guys agree with me. If you don't agree with me, I'm sorry. But I... I'm tired of all the negativity. I'm tired of people saying hateful things I know that that's just a world that we live in I get that but we cannot give in to temptation we can't give in to that much evil that's just evil so if you enjoyed this video please feel free to comment uh, like share and subscribe um, again I'll be posting more videos hopefully in the future I'll try to post another video uh, at the end of this week or in between the week just depends on how busy or how not busy I will be I missed you guys so very very much and in closing this is Courtney Reese reminding every one of us to love one another life is too short we don't need this negativity in this country or all around the world. We need peace, love, and happiness. Have you have a problem with me saying that? Tough. We need peace. We need love. We need happiness. We need tranquility. We need all of that. And no matter what life brings your way, never forget. Be wise. Be inspired. Be intelligent. But most importantly, be you. I love you guys. And I'll see you soon. Peace. Welcome home, you hungry boys are out in the back. I thought about you all day, thought I'd had an attack. Put down your suitcase, so happy you're here. Tell me everything new, babe. Give me some of that, yes, dear. Can't walk, can't walk in my shoes, babe. Shoes, babe.